So a few months ago, I was at my local coffee shop and I was talking with the barista and um, I noticed he was using one of these, which is an espresso distributor. And I certainly heard a lot about them. To be honest, I didn't think that they brought much value. And so, so I kind of discussed a little bit with him. And he said that it, he really found it helpful in just making sure that every single shot was consistent. And in particular, what he liked about using the distributor was to make sure that the coffee is um, perfectly even before he tamps it. So that the coffee doesn't result in any channeling or uneven flow as the water is distributed through the porta filter during the espresso making process. So I kind of figured that if it's good enough for him, it must be good enough for me. And so uh, I have a Rebel Barista Express. And so I looked online and actually found this um, 53 millimeter distributor, which is perfect for the Rebel machines, or at least for this Barista Express. Um, it's made by a company called Matto. It wasn't particularly expensive, to be honest. And um, yeah, I started using it. And, and I've really grown to like it. And it's one of the most essential pieces of coffee gear for me. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, but firstly, just to get this set up, it, it's quite a heavy piece of kit, which is great because it really helps to distribute the coffee evenly. Um, and actually, you can just unscrew these two black sections here, as you can see. And what that means is you can adjust the depth. This is a tamper on the top, and this is the distributor on the bottom. I've already set the depth of the distributor the way I like it, and so I won't adjust it. But for example, if I wanted to adjust the depth of tamp, I could just simply adjust the top component, the silver piece. Let's say I wanted to sit out a little bit further, so I just unscrew it, and once I'm happy with that depth, then I just close down again and lock the two black rings together, securing that so that's really firm then. So now you can see the tamp depth will be deeper. That's what I wanted. Um, so let me just show you how this works. So obviously the first thing I'll need to do is just grind some coffee. Um, I'm using a bottomless porta filter here, but that doesn't make any difference for in terms of distribution, um, I use the dosing funnel just to help me out a little bit to keep the coffee machine clean and just helps me um, in the coffee making process. So I'm going to pull a double shot here, so let's do that now. So once I've ground my coffee, what I'll normally do is use this um, needling or WDT tool here just to um, remove any small air bubbles or channels in the coffee. I'll just break that up. It's just a very simple process. So once that's done, I've got uh, all the large pieces removed and any air bubbles have been removed. I'll just give it a little tap on my tamping mat here so I don't scratch the kitchen countertop. Then I can just unscrew and remove the dosing funnel. And so I've actually not done a very good job of that. You can see that it's not level at all. In fact, it's really high on one side and low on the other, which if I tamped like that and didn't tamp it evenly, would result in um, less extraction on one side than the other as the coffee is, or the water is poured through the porta filter. Um, so that wouldn't be a great tasting coffee. So that's where the distributor comes in. So I'll just simply put it down on the surface. You'll see it has three kind of blades on the underside. Um, so I simply just place it in. And as I mentioned before, it's quite a heavy piece of kit. So I really don't need to use any force. I can just put it into position and just very gently spin it. And it will just, due to its natural weight, will naturally distribute the coffee. And I know that's done because I can see that now it's level all around. So I'm happy that that's done so I can remove the distributor. Oh, it just needs a little bit more there. I can see it's not quite even. I'll do more distribution. Put that to the side. Then you can see inside now that it, the coffee is nice and easily distributed. There's no channels that have been removed. And it's ready now just for me to tamp, which is really easy because it's set up nicely for me already. Tamp the coffee. That's ready to go. So if you're thinking about getting an espresso distributor, I highly recommend it. I, I find it really useful. Um, this one is great if you have a um, 
Revel Barista machine, the 53 mil by Matto. I think they also do one in a 51 millimeter size. Um, but there are some others and I've recommended them in, in one of the posts. Um, different brands, but basically do almost the same thing. Um, just one minor comment, if there's anything that I didn't like about this. You can see because it has this um, thread just around here, which is just slightly sticking out for the depth I've set it, what that means is you end up sometimes with some little coffee grinds stuck in there, which just really um, takes a little bit to clean out. Um, so if there's anything that, that sort of any con or drawback of this particular um, distributor, that would be it for me. Um, but it's really minor and, and overall I'm super happy with it.